Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a singles new love reading for my dearest Libras. Libra, we're going to take a look at who's coming towards you in love. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my dearest Libras for their highest and greatest good. All right, so we have, whoops, house 10 showing up. This is your person. So structure, discipline, life mission, accomplishments, and career. Okay, so somebody here very, very focused on their career, very disciplined, focused on their mission, their life path. Um, and they're also showing up as square. So a challenging situation and a mountain to climb. Okay, so I feel like you. this is definitely somebody here, Libra, who may have made something of themselves um, after coming from very, very humble beginnings. I feel this person has overcome a lot of challenges and they're going to be different for all of you, but there's definitely strength and resolve here with this person. What they like about you is house 11. So you may be friends or start off as friends. You're like-minded and you have these humanitarian beliefs, which certainly can indicate as well that you meet through some sort of like volunteering thing or some through some sort of, you know, friend group. And we see Libra energy. So this is what else you need to know about the connection. So you could be connecting with another Libra here. Um, fairness and harmony is going to be prioritized within this connection. And it's also very beautiful Venusian energy. So it tells me it's also going to be a very deeply romantic connection. We also have Saturn. Ooh, so you could be dealing with a Capricorn here. But feel restricted, experience struggle, uh, learn hard work and patience. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like this is somebody, this is somebody who's self-made. That's what I'm getting. Again, I think they've overcome a lot of challenges. Maybe they have their own business. Maybe they came from poverty. Um, you know, maybe, you know, there's some sort, uh, something here that, you know, was not in their favor, but this is somebody who's definitely strong. They've definitely overcome I'm getting such a powerful masculine energy off of this person. Again, that's not a gender specific energy when I say masculine we all have masculine and feminine energies but this is somebody who's worked hard for what they what they have okay and they've had some challenges but it does feel like they've overcome them um, I do feel like they're balanced this person is somebody who's very structured and very disciplined I'm also seeing too this may be somebody who you know the type of person who gets up at 5 a.m and works out before they do anything right they make their bed they work out they you know they have a plan um, I do feel that's why they're also very successful with the structure and this discipline. I'm getting a lot of Capricorn energy. We see the tower. So this person could be Aries or Scorpio energy. I also think this person is going to really surprise you because you might know them as kind of serious, um, practical, hardworking, but they have this very deep romantic side. Again, for a lot of you, this might be a connection where you just kind of start off as friends. Um, but I think the longer you, you spend time with them or the more you get to know them, you're going to see that they are very deeply romantic. I think this person is going to shock you or it's going to be some sort of unexpected connection in some way. And we get the page of crystals. Yeah, your person, I think you. I think what's going to shock you, Libra, is that this person is definitely hesitant. Um, they're nervous. Um with the page of crystals energy here, it's like they want to, they're, they want to have a fresh start, um, with you and they're looking forward to it, but they're much more nervous beneath the surface than they, than they really truly come off. Um, but I do think that they are going to be the one to, to step up, take the lead and ask you out. And we get the page of swords. Yeah. They're probably checking you out. They're probably, you know, just trying to get all the information that they can about you. Um, before they before they ask you out or before they express their feelings. So it is somebody who definitely does their research. Again, they're methodical. They're disciplined. Um, they're not like this huge risk taker is what I'm getting. Um, now, of course, as I say that we get, they could have strong fire in their chart. All right. So <laughs> as I say, they're not a huge risk taker. It doesn't mean that they're not passionate or they can't be impulsive at times. But I feel like in general, in general they're quite pragmatic and methodical. Um, and they they do their research, they do their homework here, um, because they want success. They don't want to be rejected. 
All right. They may come from a large family. All right. Um, they might have a strong connection with their siblings and their family members. And we get Libra. So, you know, Libra, this person may be another Libra or just have these Libran qualities where fairness and harmony is important to them in relationships and they really enjoy beauty. I also feel this person's really, really well put together. So I do feel like what you don't see maybe initially is that this person is quite romantic. I think they're always pretty charming and I think they really care about their appearance. So they're always going to look really put together. They're going to look nice. Um, and, but they're also fair, you know, and they're fair and they're just, and they want to do things the right way. And we get a tower moment and serendipity coming through here, Libra. So I'm absolutely loving those um, confirmation messages that, you know, it's going to happen unexpectedly or just whom this person is, is going to shock, is going to shock you, is going to take you by surprise. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what else you need to know about this person. So we see a challenging situation, a mountain to climb. So they could be large in stature, but I do feel if that's the case, they, they, they're very strong. Okay. They take good care of their body. This person could be tall, um, you know, they could be, I just get sort of like an athletic vibe here, but again, that's a physical attribute that isn't going to resonate with all of you. And let's see, you know, for some of you, they might, I'm getting like, they could train for marathons or something like that. I do feel this person's always sort of challenging themselves as well. Um, like, you know, to learn and to grow and that's going to happen in a lot of different forms. It's going to be a very psychic, very telepathic connection. All right. Nice. You guys are going to get each other on a very deep level with all this Libra and energy. A love from long ago. So some of you, it may be someone that you do already know, but it's from long ago. And, you know, this card has come out in some of my other readings. And, you know, this doesn't mean that it's an ex. And it absolutely doesn't have to mean that it's somebody that, that you know from this experience, this lifetime. To me, this can indicate a past life connection or a beautiful sense of familiarity. Like, have we done this before? You know, do we know each other? Yeah, I definitely get that. And you might have deja vu with this person. Um, and they only have eyes for you, Libra. All right. And for some of you, they may be in their 60s. Again, ages, physical attributes are going to be confirmation for some, um, but not going to resonate with each and every one of you. So this person only has eyes for you. I love that. So there's no, no player vibes like this person probably going to fall in love quite quickly with you, Libra. And it feels it may be mutual, um, but they're going to take some time. They're, they're going to prepare before they ask you out or before they confess their true feelings. All right. So we have, okay. Communicating their feelings comes easy to them. It's going to appear that way, but I do feel for my Libras here, they're going to plan out what they're going to say. Like this is somebody who definitely prepares, all right? <laughs> and they have blue eyes. So this color light blue is going to be important to the connection. Now, whether they have blue eyes or maybe you do, uh, maybe they like to wear the color light blue or they are wearing blue like on your first date or, you know, they could have a, a light blue colored car or something like that. Really trust your intuition. Yeah, look at that. Grew up in a better than average household. Okay, so for some of you, maybe they... You know, maybe they do come from, you know, a better than average background, but maybe they had to declare bankruptcy. You know, maybe they got hit hard during the pandemic or maybe, you know, there was accident, illness, injury, a divorce, but they've definitely, they've worked through some serious challenges. I like that. There's just this strong resolve here about this person and they may have a dry sense of humor and they also may wear a meaningful accessory often. Okay, nice. I'm liking this energy. I like this person. Um, and I think you're going to, I think you're going to love this person to be honest, but let's see what else we need to know about this person for my Libras. Okay. So we see this is going to be a gift from the universe. They might also be, or have, they might be a gift giver as a form of love language and we get official person. So male or female, again, it doesn't matter. They might hold an official title. For some of you, this person could be a veteran or they could be, you know, um, in the military or maybe they were. Okay. And so that could definitely be a source of that like strong resolve and discipline um, that I'm picking up on. Um, for some of you, you know what I did here? This is going to be for like one of you. They might have come from a family where there were like diplomats or a military family. All right. Again, very specific message that is not going to be for, for all of you. 
Um, so what they love about my Libras, we have house 11. So a lot of you, you could start off as friends or meet through friends, or you're just very like-minded. They see the five of swords. This is uh, Venus and Aquarius energy, but it's like, this is, they like the way you think. They also like that you're not afraid to stand up for yourself. And they also like that you're not going to like start conflict because fairness and balance is super important to you. But what I do see here is like, you're not going to start conflict, but they know that you're not afraid to end it, right? Or not afraid to speak up for yourself or not afraid to, yeah, like, you know, you, you don't, it's like, you're not looking for confrontation at all, but you're also not going to shy away from it if somebody's, you know, coming for you. So they like that. They like that a lot about you and the page of swords. Yeah. This person, they like the way you communicate. They like the way they like what they see. They also like what other people have to say about you. So again, if you meet this person in some sort of group setting or like through friends, like what people, how people talk about you, is going to be like also a big deal for them. Like how, you know, how they, what, how they shape, how they view you because other people like say you're a good person or just have like, you know, nothing but good things to say about you. So they're also going to really like that. I also feel that with this telepathic communication energy, there's that, like you'll be able to finish each other's sentences. So you're going to be really like-minded and connected, but they also really like what you two talk about. Like it's engaging. And, um, you know, this person, again, they might get a little bored at times with some other people or other options that they've had in the past about like, you know, talking about like really superficial things because there's definitely a deeper connection here. And we see the nine of wands. This is my past life soulmate card. It's also a military card. So both of those messages are, are coming through. All right. Now I'm going to read these cards intuitively about what else uh, this person likes about my Libras. Clear messages, advice, and guidance. What else does this person like about my Libras? Oh, this one wants out. Yeah, they're definitely like they're ready for a fresh start with you. Um, they also see like growth and change with you or that you're, you know, that you're mutable in a sense, like, you know, where you're, you know, go with the flow, like they feel like, you know, things would just be really fluid with you. Um, and they're ready for a new beginning. They see a new beginning here with you and girl with the snake. Yeah. What I'm getting here is that it's going back to that five of swords. Now, hopefully this person doesn't see you in conflict. Um, but you know, maybe, maybe you meet at a time of conflict where you're experiencing difficulties or, you know, maybe there's some sort of conflict and they see how you resolve it. They really do like that, that you're boundary oriented. Um, they also like that you're like really aware. And, and I feel like my Libras, you do also really care about how other people are affected. Um, so it's like, you're always like, but not to the point where you're a pushover. So you're always putting yourselves in other people's shoes. But again, not letting anybody walk all over you because of that. And yeah, they see abundance. They see you two being a power couple. Um, they like that you're positive. They like that you're successful. Yeah, and look at this palm tree. And they see stability and security and permanence with you. They see growth with you. So this is really, really awesome, awesome uh, energy coming through. And, and they also see that you're flexible. So again, I'm getting that mutable energy coming through. Um, so what else we need to know here about this connection? We have this Libran energy. Um, so again, I might have two Libras coming together. A lot of you are probably going to be seeing 1111, um, with this person. Again, it, it very well may be a twin flame connection, soulmate connection, however you want to label it, Libra. This is, it's a very, very good match. And let's see what else spirit has for you. All right. So they're going to be deepening feelings. So again, some of you are going to be starting off as friends. I do see this person's, you know, checking you out, sussing you out. All right. Um, we see fling. Maybe some of you, you think it's just going to be a fling or it's, or it started off as just a fling. That's not going to be for all of you and release ties to past connection. Oh, I like that because a lot of you too, maybe if you have somebody who's around you, that is not nothing much serious spirits telling you, let that person go. And in case it's this person, they're going to let go of anybody else that's around them. But I don't really feel like that's their energy. Like I said, I'm not getting like player vibes um, from this person and we get sweet and innocent love. So yeah, this is, this is special Libra. This is very, very special. All right. Look at the bottom of the deck. We do see twin flame union. All right. So yeah, a lot of my Libras, you may end up marrying this person. All right. And spirits also saying that there's a gravitational pull towards one another. 
So it's like you're on each other's paths. You're going to be just, there's an, there's a invisible cord that's already, that's already pulling you two together, already connecting you two. All right. So let's see important dates. So spirit saying now is not the right timing. So can you give us important dates for this connection, please? So we see this week. All right. So anywhere starting now and time to let go. Someone here needs to let go of past connections. Libra, for some of you, it might be you. You know, it might be like, I don't know if you're still hurting from something that didn't work out or there's somebody you're still kind of loosely dealing with. The message is coming through. Time to let go of past connections to allow this energy in. Okay, past connections that obviously aren't working, right? <laughs> Little caveat there. And we see the month of September, okay? Could be important to this connection. It doesn't mean that you necessarily, it's gonna take all the way until September to meet this person. Um, but you know, this past September, maybe you met briefly, maybe, you know, that's when you two started talking, um, you know, so just, you know, trust your intuition here. We see March. So it's definitely, it's already in the works here, Libra. It could be somebody that is coming back around, you know, that you met briefly in September, you met through friends, or maybe you volunteered with or something like that. Um, just trust your intuition, trust Trust your intuition. All right, let's see. This September can also be birthdays. It can also be, you know, a major breakup or life change for you or for this person. Just let me know in the comment section down below how that resonates. All right. And we're going to finish off this reading here, Libra, with a lunar lyrics card just to get some more information here. And we get, all right, so we see um, Karen Carpenter, I wouldn't need the radio to be my lullaby if I had you. Ooh, yeah. So I feel like you, you, you know, I feel this person is definitely hoping, wishing, praying, you know, that you two can come together. You may be manifesting this person through, you know, your hopes, your wish, your prayers. Um, somebody, I may be connecting to Libras here, especially those of you who, who may sleep listening to like frequencies or music or even like watching TV. Um, when this person comes into your life, that's going to shift and change. I feel you're just going to fall asleep in each other's arms, right? So very romantic connection coming up for my Libras. Again, let me know how it resonates in the comment section down below. Um, if you're after a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram, all that information is down below um, as well. And, um, yeah, the short form content that I do put out, um, is different than the long form content that I put out on YouTube. So you may want to check that out. All right, Libras, love and light. Take care.